intro get set go level one six and one page 92 lesson 12 vocabulary lesson one hello Zan how are you I am fine how are you yeah I'm doing great as well so Azan, the first one what do you mean by very afraid very afraid means horrified as an example she is not just afraid she is horrified what do you mean by very afraid very afraid means panicked as an example she is not just afraid she is panicked what do you mean by very afraid again very afraid means terrified she is not just afraid she is terrified what do you mean by very beautiful very beautiful means exquisite as an example she is not just beautiful she is exquisite what do you mean by very brave very brave means courageous as an example he is not just brave he is courageous very brave can mean a lot of things so Azan uh, what do you mean by very brave again uh, sometimes very brave means fearless as an example he is not just brave he is fearless and can you give another word for very brave of course it can be gallant he is not just brave he is gallant how about one more very brave it has also another meaning which is heroic he is not just brave he is heroic okay and there is another word which we use to you know mean very brave and what is that word that is valiant as an example he is not just brave he is valiant and what do you mean by very bright very bright it means talented as an example she is not simply bright she is talented what do you mean by very calm very calm means composed it's not just calm it's composed and there is another meaning for very calm what is it very calm means placid as an example it's not just calm it's placid and there is one more beautiful word which means very calm what is it it means serene for example it's not just calm it's serene great and there is one more amazing word to describe very calm that is tranquil as an example it's not just calm it's tranquil okay going forward what do you mean by very chaotic it means disorderly as an example it's not just chaotic it's disorderly what can be another word to mean the same thing very chaotic it can be hectic as an example it's not just chaotic it's hectic and there's another word um, that starts with T to mean the same thing very chaotic and what's that word that is tumultuous an example it's not just chaotic it's tumultuous and there is another word which we use very often that is um, you know very chaotic also means wild as an example it's not just chaotic it's wild okay moving forward we have got um, what do you mean by very clean immaculate as an example we can say it's not just clean it's immaculate 
and there is another fantastic word to、uh, say very clean. And what is that? That pristine. It's not just clean. It's pristine. And one more word which we use very often again、um, to mean very clean. And can you tell me that word? It's spotless. Right. Spotless in British accent, we say spotless. As an example, it's not just clean; it's spotless. And very clean can also mean sterile. As an example, it's not just clean; it's sterile. And what do you mean by very cold? It means arctic. As an example, it's not just cold; it's arctic. You know, when we use this Arctic, we have got two poles: the North Pole and the South Pole, right? Yeah. So the North Pole is the Arctic region, which is immensely cold, and that's why we use this word Arctic to describe very cold. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. And very cold can also mean, which is also really common, chilly. So in winter, we specially use this. Phrase or expression, chilly. It's not just cold; it's chilly. Page ninety-three. So, Mr. Safwan, now I'm going to ask you the meanings. Sure. So let's continue from twenty-five. What do you mean by very cold? So very cold can also mean freezing. For example, it's not just cold; it's freezing. Again, the same one. Very cold. I want to know another meaning. So, if you want to know another meaning,、um, we can also say frigid. For example, it's not just cold; it's frigid. It's frigid. Yeah. Then, what do you mean by? We can also say very cold in another way, which is glacial. It means. Uh, very cold, as you already know, and we can use it in the same way. It's not just cold; it's glacial. Great. So we learned a lot of another ways to say very cold. Right. Very dirty. Oh yeah, Zan. It's your room.、And、not really. <laughs> I see. So very dirty normally means contaminated. Like it's not just dirty; it's contaminated. Great, awesome, unknown word. So let's move on. What is another way to say very dirty? So this one I use it pretty often, and it is filth-ridden, filth-ridden. And for example, it's not just dirty; it's filth-ridden. How can we say the same thing? Very dirty, in another way. So filth-ridden. I said it as an as a word to mean very dirty, and there is a similar word, and that is filthy. And for example, it's not just dirty; it's filthy. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm. So it can also mean grimy. And we can use it in the same manner. It's not just dirty; it's grimy. What do you mean by very dirty again?、Um, it can sometimes mean soiled.、Uh, it's not just dirty; it's soiled. I mean, it usually is used for you know when you are outside in the outside places. So that time you can use this. Let's move on. What do you mean by very dirty again? Oh man, there are so many, right? Yeah. And、uh, but interesting. Yeah, definitely. So very dirty can also mean squalid. Squalid. Yeah, it's not just dirty; it's squalid. Now a new one. All right. What do you mean by very energetic? Very energetic means vibrant. It's not just energetic. Is vibrant. Who are you talking about? Safwan Mustafa, definitely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very fast. It goes with you. 
Yeah. What do you mean by very fast? Very fast means speedy. It's not just fast, it's speedy. Then the next one. Very fat. What do you mean by very fat? It goes with you, Azan. And very fat means obese. And it's not just fat, it's obese. Right, that one. <laughs> yeah. Goes with you. Again, what do you mean by very foolish? Very foolish can mean asinine. And it's not just foolish, it's asinine. Sometimes very foolish means dimwitted and we can say it's not just foolish it's dimwitted let's learn another meaning of very foolish so very foolish can also mean imbecilic so it's not just foolish it's imbecilic what do you mean by very foolish one more time you should say and um, it can also mean ludicrous it's not just foolish it's Ludicrous. Again, what do you mean by very foolish? My dear listeners, you are learning so many vocabularies of the same thing, and it's very good for you. So, very foolish means ridiculous, and it's not just foolish, it's ridiculous. Sometimes we say silly. Yeah, this is the most commonly used one. It's not just foolish, it's silly. You silly man! Yeah, Hazan. Totally true. Let's move on. Yeah. Okay, Hazan. Enough questions for me. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Always ready. Yeah. Doesn't seem so though, but still I'm going to ask you. Very friendly. What does it mean? Amiable. Amiable. Right. For example, he is not just friendly, he is amiable. And there is another word similar to amiable and that is amicable. Which means very friendly too. Right. As an example, he is not just friendly, he is amicable. And there is a word that starts with G and it means very friendly too. And what is that word? It's genial. As an example, we can say he is not just friendly, he is genial. And there is another common one which we normally use, um, you know, when we greet people. It's used at those times and the word starts with H. Can you guess the word? Yeah, of course. It's hospitable right don't think it's for the patients yeah because it's you know it has got a hospital on it yeah so he is not just friendly he is hospitable okay. a great one yeah indeed and then the next one very happy what do you mean by very happy Azan? it's blissful as an example she is not just happy, she is blissful. Okay, and um, there are several meanings of very happy, which we can use as synonyms. And what would be another one? It can be delighted. She is not just happy, she is delighted. Can you tell me another? Of course I can. Ecstatic. As an example, she is ecstatic. Okay, and what would be another way to express very happy? It is elated. As an example, she is not just happy, she is elated. Right, and you can ask me the next one. Of course. What do you mean by very happy? So very happy can also mean exuberant. And, for example, she is not just happy, she is exuberant. Whom you're talking about? Yeah, maybe there isn't a she in here, unfortunately, at the moment. But, yeah, I guess it's Lamia, you know? Alright. Okay. Whom I recorded the, you know, imperative sentences with. Okay. Very happy means joyous. 
Right. So, could you please give an example? Yeah. She's not just happy, she's joyous. Page 94. Sometimes very happy means overjoyed. She's not just happy, she's overjoyed. Very happy means thrilled. For example, she's not just happy, she's thrilled. Let's move on to a new one. Very hot. Very hot means scorching. It's not just hot, it's scorching. I guess it's not, it's chilling. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's winter going on. Meanwhile, we are recording this audio. Yeah, and you can use this phrase when you are living in the summer. Do you know what? I'm very hangry. Wait, Azan, hangry? Do you mean hungry and angry? True. Yeah, because when you are an empty stomach person, that time you are angry. And that makes sense. That's a nice phrase, Azan. Great. So, here we are talking about very hungry. Right. So, how can we say it in a different way? Very hungry, we can say it as ravenous. Is not just hungry, it's ravenous. All right. A nice one. I will use it from today. Very loud. What do you mean by it? Yeah, it means blaring. I mean, if you are using headphones, I'm very sorry because we are explaining very loud and I had to be a bit loud. Okay. Because yeah. of the word <laughs> loud. Yeah. And if I use it as an example, it can be, you know, it's not just loud, it's blaring. Great. Very loud. It has another meaning. Let's know it from Seth. Okay. Yep. Um, let's say it's boisterous. And we can say it's not just loud. It's boisterous. Great. Very loud. It has another meaning again. Yeah, it has got several meanings. and Or you can say synonyms. So it also means booming. It's not just loud, it's booming. I mean, we say boom when a bomb explodes, right? Boom. Your expression was great. Booming. Yeah, booming. Let's move on. Very loud. Again, another meaning. Yeah. So, let's know it from Mr. Safwan. Okay, very loud can also, you know, so when a child cries loudly, it just makes your ears deaf. So, we can say deafening. It's not just loud, it's deafening. Awesome. So, yeah, the next one, again, very loud. It has a lot of meanings. Right. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so very loud can mean ear splitting. I mean, as I gave you an example, when a child cries, that time, it just breaks your ears. So you can say it's not just loud, it's ear splitting. Great. We can also say resounding. It means very loud too. So it's not just loud, it's resounding. Great. The last one, I mean the last meaning of very loud. Thanks God. What does it mean? Okay, so when there are thunders and storms, that time you can use this, which is thunderous. It's not just loud, it's thunderous. Great. Okay, now, Azan, I'm going to ask you some synonyms related... Oh, I'm afraid. Okay, you shouldn't be, because it's easy. And some synonyms related to very old. Oh, I'm afraid. You shouldn't be, because it's easy. And when you're studying history, this word appears a lot of times. So, what is that word, Azan? It's ancient. Right. It's not just old, it's ancient. Great. And what do you mean by very old again? It's absolute. It's not just old, it's absolute. That's great. And there is another meaning for very old. 
And what is that word? It's senile. It's not just old. It's senile. Okay. And what about another one? It's venerable. Means very old again. We can say it's not just old. It's venerable. All right. Can I ask you the next one, Mr. Safwan? Oh my God! I'm afraid too. You shouldn't be. Okay. So that is very poor. What does it mean? Very poor means impoverished. She's not just poor; she's impoverished. Great. Very quiet. We need to use this one a lot in a classroom. Yeah, when you are a teacher, definitely. So be quiet, right? Yeah. So how can we say very quiet in another way? We can say hushed. Sometimes we do shh. I mean, indicating that you should keep quiet. So you can use hushed. It's a great word. It's not just quiet. It's hushed. Then the next one, especially we use this. One in online class. Yeah, we mute our students. Zoom meetings. <laughs> so very quiet. How can we say it in a different way? Definitely unmute and mute. So you can say muted.、Uh, it's not just quiet. It's muted. Awesome. Then the next one, very quiet, means peaceful. It's not just quiet. It's peaceful, definitely. When it's quiet, it's definitely peaceful. We can also say silent, definitely, which is very common. It's not just quiet; it's silent. Be silent. Yeah, but very, I can't at the moment because we are recording the audio. Very quiet. It has another meaning, which is still. It's not just quiet; it's still. Great. Very quiet. Again, again. Tell the meaning. Now this time, you know, it's whispered. I mean, when you are a person who likes to talk on and on and on, like Azan, who doesn't stop talking, even if the teachers say so, that stop talking, you do something. Hello, how are you? This is called whispering, right? But it's still not that loud. Sometimes you can whisper loudly. Hello, Azan. Yeah, something like that. But you can also whisper very softly, very slowly. So it can be a synonym of very quiet as well. But the example he gave that was totally wrong. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Very quiet. What do you mean by very rich? Of course, wealthy is not rich. Is wealthy. What is the different way to say very sad? Very sad means dejected. For example. It's not just sad; it's dejected. All right, very sad. It also means depressed, which I'm not at the moment. Definitely, it's not just sad; it's depressed. Very sad. We can also say it's like this: desolate. For example, it's not just sad; it's desolate. Then the next one. Very sad means despondent. For example, it's not just sad; it's despondent. Okay. What do you mean by devastated? I mean, it means very sad. Devastated. You know, sometimes when you have a great loss, or you know, in business, or when you lose someone. I mean, this lose a relative or family member. So. After this, you are devastated. Okay, so very sad has got several meanings, Azan, and I answered a couple of them. Now I'm going to ask you to give some synonyms for very sad. So what can be your first word? It's doleful. It's not just sad; it's doleful. Okay. Um. How can you say it in another way? We can say grievous. It's not just sad; it's grievous. Great. Page ninety-five. Okay. 
Now there is another way we can say very sad. Um, especially, it's used in Shakespeare's romantic love stories. And how do you say that? It's heartbroken. For example, we can say it's not just sad; it's heartbroken. That's great. And another very common word which is used in Shakespeare's tales.、Um, and what is that word? That's melancholic. As an example, we can say it's not just sad; it's melancholic. That's great. And what about、um, another synonym for very sad? That's mournful. For、great. example, we can say it's not just sad; it's mournful. Okay. And what do you mean by very short? Very short. Sometimes we can say miniature. For example, she is not just short; she is miniature. Right. Absolutely. And what do you mean by very slow? Very slow. That doesn't match with you, right? Yeah. Because you're very、definitely. fast in typing.、Um, very slow. That means sluggish. For example, we can say it's not just slow; it's sluggish. Brilliant and very smart. It goes with both of us, hopefully. So, what do you mean by very smart? Very smart. We can say astute. For example, he is not just smart; he is astute. For example, Safwan. Amazon too. Thank Then, you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. How about another way to say very smart? That's obviously brilliant. One of my most favorite expressions. Brilliant. For example, we can say he is not just smart; he is brilliant. Absolutely, and I've used this. Word a couple of times while recording this audio, as you already know, and very smart can also mean that you are very, you know, cunning. But what can be another word for cunning? We can also go for clever.、Hmm. Someone is very much clever means he or she is brilliant or smart or astute. Can you give an example? Of course, why not? He is not just smart; he is clever. Wow, great! And what about? Oh, I already said this, right? Very smart means cunning, and cunning and clever basically is someone who is really smart, which you have already guessed by now. So, as an example, we can also say he is not just smart; he is cunning. He is cunning. Right. And how about another word for very smart? We can say ingenious. As an example, he is not just smart; he is ingenious. You see how beautiful expression it is. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. And this word we use pretty often as a synonymous word for very smart. And what is that? Intelligent. Yeah, you are absolutely correct and accurate. But can you give an example? Why not? He is not just smart; he is intelligent. Fantastic. And what about one more word which starts with S? And this word also means very smart. That should sounds interesting. He is not just smart; he is short. That's incredible. And how about one more word which starts with W, and we use this pretty often? Can you guess that word? That's wise. For example, he is not just smart; he is wise. Yes, that's brilliant. You again used the phrase "brilliant." Yeah, I use the same 
expression one more time. Now let's move on to another new word, which is very strong, and it means formidable. For example, we can say it's not just strong; it's formidable. Absolutely, and very strong also means it also means mighty. It's not just strong; it's mighty. We can see this word many times when we read stories or other books.、Mm -hmm. Th that's fantastic, and yeah. The next word, very strong, means powerful. Powerful, right?、Uh, let's see an example with powerful. It's not just strong; it's powerful. Yes, you are right. Now, the next one is I use it pretty often in my writing, and you can use it too. This is a very nice word for very strong. And what is that? That's Robust. For example, we can say it's not just strong; it's robust. Hmm, you are accurate. I see. Now, can I ask you the next one? Surely. Great. This one, I'm gonna ask you a hard one, indeed.、Mm、hmm. It's how we can say very strong in another way. It's steady. It's not just strong. It's steady. But please don't say steady. Yeah. That's actually not your studies. It's steady in British accent if we pronounce it. Steady. Because、yeah. you see, um, this is a long vowel sound. Steady, indicating to that ra sound, which we don't pronounce in. British English, but in American English, you say sturdy, and the one which has answered study, that's short vowel sound. You see, so this is how you can differentiate words、uh, between British English and American English. Then the next one, especially for you, very tall. How you can say it another way? When you see. When you use this word, you use it monsters. So, can you guess that word, Azan? It's giant, and yes, that one is really true. We use it for the monsters, and yeah, something is really large and big and tall. We can say that's giant. So, for example, he is not just. Tall, he is giant. Mhm.、Mm、Absolutely accurate, on point, spot on. Then I think you can ask me the next one. It's very thin. Now tell me how we can say it another way. Yeah, we can say it as emaciated. For example, she is not just thin; she is emaciated. I mean, very thin basically means someone is pale, right? But The person who is actually thin, you don't say very thin or use this emaciated word. This one is really a great example. By the way, whom you're talking about? I am talking about no one. All right. Okay. Let's move on.、Um, very thirsty. What does it mean? Very thirsty means parched. It's not just thirst. It's parched. Parched, awesome. Very tired. We all the time、Use、face this it, word, yeah. And we say very tired, and it's also very tired to hear very tired all the time. So let's learn a new way to say very tired. Hmm. We can say exhausted. I am. Exhausted. Truly, and could you please give an example? Yeah, definitely. But I'll be very exhausted after I give the example. Please go ahead. You know, I just gave the example. I'll be very tired after I give this example. So you already gave it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next one, I guess. Mhm.、Mm、very ugly. 
What does it mean? It means hideous. And for example, it's not just ugly, it's hideous. Great. 108. Very unfriendly. What do you mean by very unfriendly? We have already learned the meaning or the synonymous word of very friendly. And very unfriendly, it means antipathetic. And she is not just unfriendly, she is antipathetic. Safwan is not just unfriendly, he is antipathetic. Actually, he is not. I was yeah, just kidding and joking. He is actually really a friendly person. Amiable, amicable, all these. Right. So, yeah, let's go and learn another way to say unfriendly. It can also mean hostile. She is not just unfriendly, she is hostile. Don't say hostile. <laughs> this will mean something else then. Right. Let's move on to the next one. Would you please read it? Hmm. Very unfriendly means unwelcoming. I mean, you know, you're, you don't approach to people, you're not very comfortable speaking to people. And Azan, can you give an example? Uh, yeah, sure. She is not just unfriendly, she is unwelcoming. Spot on, spot on. Superlative job and now 111, that's a pretty nice number. Um, what do you mean by very warm? It means hot. For example, we can say it's not just warm, it's hot. Now very warm can also mean scalding. For example, it's not just warm, it's scalding. Very warm can also mean sweltering. And for example, it's not just warm, it's sweltering. Let's move on to the next page. Page 96. Let's look at number 114. Very weak means debilitated. For example, it's not just weak. It's debilitated. Very weak can also mean delicate. For example, it's not just weak, it's delicate. For example, it's not just weak, it's feeble. Very weak also means frail. And for example, it's not just weak, it's frail. Now let's look on to the next one. Very young means infantile. For example, she is not just young, she is infantile. Very good. And very young also means juvenile. For example, he's not just young, it's juvenile. Very young also means naive. For example, he's not just young, he's naive.